Choosing a major early in your college life has proven to be an indicator of career success. If you already know what you want to do for a career, our series will help you choose a major that will match your career path. I'm Scott Wyatt, President of Southern Utah University, and we strive to provide relevant education for you to meet your career goals. What spotlight do we have today, Ellen? Today we have a spotlight on chemistry with Dr. Ty Redd. What is it that you love about chemistry? Chemistry for me as an undecided kid, I just took it to really uh, prove to my father I could do it, but everything you look all around you is made up of chemicals. Every inanimate object, every living, every non-living thing. And so for a guy who really didn't understand what he wanted to do right off the bat, chemistry was involved in everything how I think, how I feel, uh, environmental issues, industrial issues, health, medicine. It, the world was wide open and I loved it. Who would do well in this kind of field? Uh, you know, most of the students are really inquisitive and you have to not have a fear of the unknown because nobody's going to pay you to study something that's already been done. In chemistry, you're really solving solutions to problems that are unknown. So what's out in the universe? What's causing this disease? How do we make a better medication? How do we make a better cosmetic? All of those things that are unknown are really where we're looking at as chemists. We see here at SUU that uh, a lot of people come and they want to be uh, doctors, dentists, pharmacists, uh, one thing or another, and then the chemistry just grabs a hold of them and they see the whole world open up to, wow, I can really find better waxes for my snowboard. I can, I mean, you name it. So we talked about the kinds of people that would be very attracted to this program. Individuals that are inquisitive and they want to discover new things. Who would absolutely hate chemistry? Uh, those that are afraid to go out and into unknown territory, or if you just kind of don't have that creativity, uh, you really have to find your love and your passion for whatever you want to do. And if it is solving problems, then you'll do very well. But if it's not, if it's being told what to do and how to do it, then chemistry is not for you. And so what kind of, what types of jobs are available to those who study chemistry? Oh goodness, uh, well because chemistry in, is in everything, you can parlay that to really a lot of different things. Uh, doctors, dentists, water quality, food, industry, paint, uh, clothing, textiles, uh, they all require a chemist to do quality assurance and quality control. SU is really great in that we provide, we don't have graduate students in chemistry, so we provide a graduate level research opportunity for undergraduates. They get to work on x-ray crystallography machines, they get to work on nuclear magnetic resonance imaging machines, uh, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry. I never got to do that in my doctorate studies, you know, somebody else did that. I think the, the faculty and the students that they attract are strength. Uh, we participate in the American Chemical Society, they certify our degree, but they also write exams for every one of our classes, and we as faculty never see that. And the nice thing is, is it allows faculty to say, listen, we have to teach you about these concepts in a way that you can answer anybody's question, because we're not going to write your MCAT, we're not going to write your PCAT, your, your DAT, we don't write those but we can teach you a way that no matter who writes the question, you're gonna have a great answer for it. And the last exam this year, 2015, ranked us in the 93rd percentile of the nation. And we always rank somewhere in 85th or above, usually in the 90 to 95th, 97th percentile. Terrific, thank you so much. This has been the Spotlight on Chemistry with Dr. Ty Redd.